Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be sharing with y'all today a few of my Amazon impulse purchases. So if you're interested in seeing what I've picked up over the last few weeks, just keep on watching. <music> So the first thing that I have here is just a facial steamer. This is one of the purchases that I've most recently picked up. It is a really cute, small, nano facial steamer and it's pretty simple. I mean, there's a million facial steamers on Amazon. I decided to go ahead and go with this one simply because I like the way that the water goes in. I don't have to worry about spilling water everywhere when trying to load it. So you just load the water into this compartment and you just pop it back in like that. Really, really simple. I thought it was cute with the pink and the white. So I went ahead and picked this up and I am very excited to use it. I'm going to use it tonight. And it also comes with this little spa tool kit. It's basically just a few like little facial tools that you may use like a blackhead remover blackhead remover um a few different tools i don't know necessarily how much i'll be using those but it does come with that and the brand is just kinga this is what the box looks like so this next item is not even for me it's actually for my dog i just decided to go ahead and include it but it's just this little nose butter basically like an ointment for um like bulldog noses or dog noses so that's what i got him next i have here is my uv gel lamp this is the lamp that i use in my video doing your doing your gel nails at home on your own but I went ahead and picked this up because I wanted to do something to my nails. I peeled it off now, y'all. I'm really not that good with gel polish by itself. I'm more so of an acrylic and gel girl because I'm rough with my hands and I pick at it. As soon as one nail lifts, I go ahead and just pull them all off. So, But that's not to say that this doesn't work great. That's just my issue. But, you know, this is a good lamp. I think it was really um affordable i think it was like 50 dollars if that but it was affordable and it's a really good lamp to do your own nails at home save your coin honey save your coin okay so along with my lamp i had to go ahead and get some um polishes and things to do my nails with so i picked up a few things as well off of amazon for my nails i got this ph bun by jellish that's what that looks like it's just something that you use um, to dehydrate your nails before you put the gel polish on. So it's pretty essential to using the lamp. And then I got this cuticle oil um, by QCO, QCO Natural, Natural Luxury Spa. This stuff is pretty good. I've seen this in somebody else's Amazon um, haul. I think the Glam Twins. And I seen this and I was like, hmm, I got that same thing. I guess we all buying some of the same things off of Amazon. And of course, I had to get some polishes. I purchased this Gelin Soak Off Gel Polish Kit. This one looks like this. It looks just like this. It just comes in a little box. Only thing I'll say about this is I didn't realize that these would be so small. Like they're really, really small. Like that. They're this size, y'all, like, really, really small, but they work. I mean, you could still use them for a good amount of time. So, I purchased this because I needed some polishes to do my nails, and that was a good deal. I got the rainbow colors because I wanted some really bright, cute spring colors. So, that was really nice. Let me see what else I got. So let me go ahead and show y'all this purchase. This purchase is random, but it is a glass mug. These are so cute. But I'm drinking some tea now, so I can go ahead and show you. But how cute are these? Like, too cute to just drink your coffee or your tea with in the morning. However, but I got a set of two. And let me just show you. Glass mugs came in a set of two. And they're by this brand right here called Pun Pun Glass Coffee Mugs. 
and there was two of them in here i want to say they were about twenty dollars for the set and just judging off of using it i really think it is good quality i'm not gonna test it and put it in a dishwasher or anything but it is a double wall 380 milliliter cup so it's a really good size and it is a good buy for twenty dollars so this next purchase y'all i got i meant to show you guys when i showed the steamer but it is just a mask brush set like a set of two and this is not like your typical brush it's like a silicone brush it does not have bristles on it and it's just a little easy set for four or five dollars i think i paid for just to put your mask on so my next two purchases were both fitness purchases i was just browsing around thinking like okay i'm at home i'm not doing anything anyway let me give me some fitness stuff so i can do some at home workouts so I purchased the Sweet Sweat um, Sweatband and I had one of these. I didn't have this brand. I had like a Walmart brand. I think it's by Gold's Gym and it's not as nice y'all. I will say it is not as nice as this one. This one is really, really good. It does not fold over or ride up or ride down when I'm working out. It works well and you sweat a lot when you wear these sweatbands y'all. Like I swear by these because I'm not a really like bad sweater at all so with this and either the sweet sweat um i don't know what it's called like an ointment that they give you or you can use alvaline y'all my mama put me on this backpack back in the day but alvaline is just like a i don't know if it's a vaseline like it reminds me of like petroleum jelly like vaseline and you just rub it all over your stomach and then wrap your stomach in this and work out and you will be dripping sweat but i got mine in a size medium it looks like this it just got the little sweat drop on the on this side and on this side it says the sweet sweat it's like this big it's not really big it's not big at all but i like it it works well it's not a waist trainer y'all some people be thinking and mistaking these for waist trainers but it's not a waist trainer it is a sweat band However, I did get a waist trainer. I've never owned a waist trainer, y'all, and I was always kind of like against them, thinking like that they were more harmful than helpful. So I just never really wanted to get one. But I read some reviews and I watched some YouTube videos on it, and I decided like, hey, it was 24-ish dollars. Like, I don't think I'll really, you know, have anything to lose by trying it out. So I did get a waist trainer, and I got this one right here. And I've worn it already, so it is good quality, like really good quality for $20, $24. But it looks like this. And it oh, I got it upside down. And I got the brand, I think this says Yana Yana. This is what mine looks like, y'all. And I got it in a size medium. Medium. So this last purchase, you guys, is the most impulsive yet and the most expensive. I really have a problem, y'all. Like, Amazon Prime is taking all of my money. But I did purchase myself a new MacBook Pro. This is the latest MacBook Pro, and I was really, really happy to get it. This is just what it looks like. And I did get the one with the touch bar on it. This is what it looks like. It has the Touch ID on it. It has the um, Touch Bar. And I did get the 128 gigabyte one, just the base one. And it was a good deal. Like they had it about $100 cheaper than Apple. So I went ahead and bought it. I have this and then the case that is on here. This is just like a clear, you can tell it's a clear case. I also purchased that off of Amazon, so I will link both of these down below. This was my most impulsive, most expensive, but my most loved purchase because I'm so happy to have a new MacBook. I was using the older model, the 2011, no, 2010 model, and I upgraded majorly. So I love this, my videos, the editing is so smooth. 
I love it y'all so check that out if you're in the market for a new laptop I definitely recommend MacBooks um, and if you're an editor or you want to do YouTube I would recommend a MacBook Pro over a MacBook Air but the MacBook Airs are nice as well and along with that I just made a purchase to get some accessories for my new computer because um, the older ones had USB plugs and all of that. This one only has the USB-C plugs. So you have to get the adapters. So that's the only bummer about getting a newer one. But other than that, I can get used to that, you know. So this is the one that just turns your USB-C into a regular USB plug. Purchased this one by the brand Uni. This is just an SD and micro SD card reader. This was this had really good reviews and I want to say it was only about $11 or so. But that is the other attachment that I got. So that's about it y'all. I think that wraps up everything that I have impulsively purchased on Amazon. Lord take my Amazon Prime account away from me. Like I need to stay off of Amazon. But I have gotten a lot of things that have been keeping me very much entertained in the house while we're quarantined and again i'm working from home so i don't really have to go much of anywhere so and let me know what you guys have been purchasing from amazon down below and if you like any of these items that i share with you make sure to check out the links in the description box and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like and i will see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.